Welcome to the second high school tutorial. Where we left the first tutorial, we had a fantastic game where you could enter a score and it will put it into a high score table. Now let's improve our incredibly exciting game. So not only does it want to know the score, but it also wants to know who got that score. So make a variable called name, capital N because for all sprites and we'll set name to answer. So we're now finding out the name of the scorer and the score. To store this in the high score table we're going to also need high scores and high score names. So make a list. High score names for this sprite only And up here in initialize, where I've deleted all of high scores, I also want to make sure the names is empty. So delete all of high score names. So I've deleted all of high score names. And I want to add, what should I call it? I'll just call it scratch player. So when I start the game, I'm going to have five entries of scratch player scoring 100. There we go. Get rid of the names. Right? Let's make this look a little bit better. So you really want the name first and then the score. There. There's a high score table. So we already know we can update the actual scores. Oh, I've given the player name as 500 and his score is 600. So it updates the score, but we have, we're not updating the name. And that also showed that when we're hiding the high scores and showing the high scores, we need to do it for this, the names as well. So show the names and hide the names. And now we want to insert the player's name as well. So if the score is bigger, not only do we insert the score, but we also insert the name at the same place because it's going to go in the same entry as the score. So insert name at index of high score names and because we've inserted one we need to remove the one that's off the bottom now so we duplicate that high score names and now that's all it took so run the code press space i'm going to call myself rock coder and i'm going to score 500 and i'm in there now let's say that Scratch Cat has a game. Scratch Cat scores 700. He's pushed me down the list, which is exactly what you would expect. Well, then I score another amazing score of a thousand. And now I'm in slots one and three. Now that's absolutely fine, but I prefer it so that you can only have one score in the table yourself and that way instead of one really good player monopolizing the whole high score table he's only going to take one place in the table so let's see how we do that stop that from running and in here none of this is going to change this is fine insert if, if it's bigger than insert that's fine um, and then we're going to duplicate that and after the insert we're going to move on to the next player and we're going to scan the rest of the table to see if that player has a name anywhere else in the table and if he does we'll remove it so let's repeat until index we're going through the whole table again so repeat until 
index. is bigger than high score number. So I might have come in here, I've scratch cuts gone in at place three. So now it's change it to place four and it's checking if scratch cut appears anywhere below it. So if he does, if that name, and I'm gonna just duplicate this block, drag it down, and instead of high scores, it wants to be high score name, and if that equals the player's name, it means not only have you inserted it, but lower down the table, he's appeared again. And so I will then delete that entry lower down the table. So I will delete index of high score names, and I will also delete index of high scores. Now we know, because this code is ensuring you can only have one entry per player. So if I've already found his entry and he had another one and deleted it, then my job's done. I can simply drop out. Stop this script. I've added a name and removed a name. There's still five entries in the list, that's fine. If I haven't come to his name, then let's have to check the next one down in the list. So change the index by one. Let's move on until we've got to the bottom of the index. If we've reached the bottom of the index, then that means I've inserted his name, haven't removed any names, so I've got six entries now. So delete the last entry back to five, stop the script, done. And as, as before, if I haven't scored bigger than any high score, move on to the next one keep looping through. So let's run that code. First of all, Rock Coder scores an impressive 200, followed by Scratch, scratch Cat scoring an impressive 500. But Rock Coder comes back with a score of 1000. And he's gone in there, pushed Scratch Cat down, and his previous score has been removed. So each player can only have one score in the high score table. And that's a good place to leave this tutorial. In the third episode, we'll look into ways of displaying the high score table in a much neater manner on the screen. Don't forget, if you've enjoyed this tutorial and you want to know when the next one's coming out, don't forget to subscribe to the Rock Coder YouTube channel. I'll see you again in the third tutorial.